Hello, and welcome back. I'm Christy, the voice behind Crafty Christy's Creations Silhouette Studio Tutorials, which is a subset of Crafty Christy's Creations How-To Videos. This is the place to find step-by-step -step directions on how to do all the things in Silhouette Studio. Whether you're a beginner or needing a little refresher, this is the place for you. So grab your computer and open Silhouette Studio. It's time to dive into another episode. Welcome back. Today we are doing another pick scan mat tutorial. As you can see, there's that solid rectangle. All of your scraps need to be within that rectangle. And then it has the registration marks built in around the outside and the arrow to show you which way to put it into the machine. So you're going to go in Silhouette Studio and click that little pick scan symbol and this little side panel will pop up. Go to the import pick scan, navigate to the photo that you took of your pick scan mat with your scraps on it. And you'll see that will load up in that side panel and it'll show you which uh, device it's calibrated to. And then once that's done loading, it will pop up on your screen. And now you can go ahead and add an image to it. So I am going to be using the champagne glasses. I'm just going to navigate over to that SVG and then we'll get it loaded up here and then we will end up uh, making an overcut with that. So here it's going to open up into an, a separate panel. So I'm just going to right click, copy, go over to the pick scan image and then paste. And I'm going to change the color to yellow so we can see what we're working with here. So my plan is to use this on a card and I'm going to be cutting it out of black and then also out of silver. So I'm just sizing it to the size I want. I'm going to do three inches tall and I went ahead and did the lock ratio aspect so that it will um, lock the ratio so when you change one aspect of it, the width will stay the same. And then we're going to add an offset. So you hit that little star on the side there. It's hard to see, but it produces a red line around it. I'm doing an external offset and I'm just going to shrink that down. I'm going to end up cutting that out of the silver. And I just want to make sure that um, it's close enough, but not too close. You can see when I zoom in here, I'm pretty happy with that. So now I can actually grab that red line and I'm going to pull that over to the silver and it's going to cut on that red line. I'm going to zoom out here so we can see what we're doing. So I'll pull that over there and then again anything that's within this photo is where you know you can place things so that it will cut. And I'm also going to add the word cheers. So I'm just writing it, picking the font that I want. I'm using the So Fancy font. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn this yellow as well. First I'm going to resize it. So as you can see, each letter, you can see how it runs into the next one, but right now there's cut lines around everything. So I'm going to turn it yellow so we can see it, pull it down over here, and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to weld. So each letter is now flows together and it will cut all the letters as one element. I'm going to put it over on the silver since it's a little easier to see. And then again, I'm going to zoom in here so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to go to the offset panel and do another offset so that I can layer this silver and black just like the champagne glasses. And I'm just going slow. I have found if you click that 
too many times on the distance, you'll end up back at zero before you know it. So just going slow and I'm seeing, you can see how the inside of the S and the C uh, start to show as you make a smaller offset. I think this is about good here at 0 0.045. So then when it's where you want it, you go ahead and hit apply. Again, this red line is where it's going to cut. I'm just going to get that tab out of the way. And then I'm just going to move that yellow, which is the original, over to the black. When I layer it, I'm going to layer, layer silver and then put the black on top of it. So now both of these are ready to go to cut. So we'll go over to the send panel. And you can see the red line around everything is where it's going to cut. I'm doing the cover stock. Uh, this is thicker card stock. It has the settings. I'm using the overcut and it's going to make two passes. So now I'm going to go set up my machine, but just know you can come over here and do a test cut if you have not already done so. And then when you're ready, you hit send. So I pick scan mat, this side goes in, it has the built-in registration marks. I'm going to come over here, load. I went back to the send panel and hit send, and you can see now it's cutting everything out in the correct position. And here's the finished product. I've got both pieces cut out, and then next week we will put them together onto a card. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial valuable. If you did, click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. If you are interested in purchasing the design used in this video, check out the link in the description below. Happy silhouetting! Until next time, with love, Crafty Christy!